there. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to get to this look from a daytime look from nothing. So if you'd like to know how to get a nice soft daytime look with the naked palette and then transform it into something you can go out wearing, then keep watching this video. Thank you! Hey there! So I already prepped with my eyebrows using the dip brow and I did my foundation, which I'll link you to my foundation routine. And let's get started. So we're going to do the day look first. I'm priming with my Old Faithful Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is my partner in crime for eyeshadows. Prevents creasing, makes colors bright and even, and evens out the discoloration of my eyelids, which is awesome. So I'm taking this nudie tan color naked and just putting this all over my eyelid. We're going to be using the naked palette for pretty much the entire look. So again, just evenly putting this over my eyelid. So now we're going to take Bach, which is one of my favorite colors in the palette, and just blend it into my crease really, really good um, as sort of a beginner for any other shades we will be adding in there. And then I'm going to take a dash of the color Toasted and um, just deepen that up just the slightest bit. So I'm blending the heck out of that, just making sure that everything's soft for the daytime look, and then I'm adding the color Virgin as a inner corner highlight. You could have stopped right before this and just not do any of the highlights, but I just think it really pulls the look together and adds a little bit of excitement. And I'm taking Strange from the Naked 3 palette and putting that on my brow bone. So this is the nice, fresh eyeshadow look. Um, I realized that I forgot to put on brow gel that morning, so kind of went for it right there. And I'm using eyeliner mascara. We're going with the Rimmel Scandalize Eye Coal Black, black Pencil Eyeliner. Uh, black Pencil Eyeliner. That. <laughs> and I meant to just line my waterline with this, but um, it, I'm kind of messy with tight lining because it makes me so uncomfortable. So I continued it onto my lid. Um, for those who are more used to cat eyes than eyeliner, it just stops before the wing does. That's, that's something I had to let myself know. So I look kind of funky because my eyelashes are blonde, sorry, but I'm uh, smudging that out with a smudge brush, which is basically a gigantic sponge tip applicator. It'll really just soften up the line. So I'm curling my eyelashes with just any old eyelash curler and applying my Holy Grail Mascara Gifted by Tarte. Um, we're just doing one coat and it's pretty much just to make the eyelashes black. We're not looking for extreme volume or anything yet. And I'm just doing the other eye like that as well. And wiggling like this really helps you get every individual lash, so I recommend this on a daily basis. And what, what? Why? Okay, I got some on my nose, but I'm actually going to take this as an opportunity to tell you how to get it off. So I first roll the Q-tip on top of the mascara spot and then sort of twist into my skin with the clean end and it's like it was never there. So we're using Hula by Benefit just to add a little bit of definition to my face. Um, no serious bronzing or anything, just a normal run-of-the-mill contour on the cheekbones, temples, nose, jawline, all the places I usually contour. So I'm taking my Everyday Blush Deep Throat by NARS and applying this on the apples of my cheeks, um, sort of avoiding the part I highlighted with concealer in my foundation routine. And yeah, so we're done with the cheeks on the lips. I'm using Angel by MAC, which is a light nudie pink frost, and that is where we're at with the daytime look. So. Now we're going to be going in with Wet n Wild's Mega Liner, um, a new favorite of mine. I'm not used to this brush type liquid liner, so I'm a little messy with it still. Um, pretty much went out of frame for the entire deal, but you know, it's fine. The wings are happening. And this will really just kind of spice up anything and turn it from like every day to not every day, if that makes sense. So I'm fanning that because I'm not used to like non-quick drying eyeliners, and yeah. I got a text and got distracted. So anyway, um, I'm putting the Hoola once again in my contour areas, 
and um, just going over it one more time to sort of deepen up the contour. And then you could use that liquid highlighter if you want to. I didn't really want to. I don't like it that much, so I'm using this Wet n Wild Fergie to Reflect palette, um, it, which is pretty much as natural as sparkles on your face can be. So I'm going to put the color Creep from the Naked palette into my crease, and this will sort of just make the look more smoky um, and less like boring matte shades which is funny because I wear that look about every day. So you could spice it up with a red like Max Glam or a pink like Urban Decay's Anarchy or even a purple like Airborne Unicorn from Lime Crime. But realistically, when I am doing a nighttime look, I actually just go for a nude lip. So that's the, the finished look. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know so I know what to make for you guys. Have a great one, lovelies. Bye.